everybody. Welcome to a very brand new episode of Not Cool with me, Sarah Highland. You might notice if you're watching, the set is a little different. And if you're listening, the audio might be a little bit different. Why? Because we're in a completely different <laughs> space. We are no longer in the Comedy Store basement studio. We are now in our living room. <laughs> We are in our living room where we uh, binge watch TV over there, um, mostly Netflix. We're watching OA right now, super good show, and also every reality show that possibly has ever been invented, not because Jen Rosenstein wants to, but because I make her. And then on the other side is the kitchen, and Pegasus is right there at my feet. So I'm really actually, I'm very excited about being in this space because it's in our home. So it feels good. And this gin made a replica of the original backdrop that I made. And it's hanging, you know, right behind me. And how dope is that? So we've created this little corner of the world that is a little bright spot in our own home. And I will say, you know what, you guys? It feels really, really, really right. Really right. Because for many reasons, um, you know, you always come across challenges. And obviously, I was very vocal on my last episode with my ex-producer, John Sosis. And if you're watching, I'm wearing sunglasses, but they're prescription because I'm a nerd. And all my glasses have prescriptions. And it feels right. So, because the episode is called... The whole podcast is called Not Cool Because I'm Not. (laughs) So I'm trying not to fidget um, or play with my hair. And um, But anyway, I'm here. Jen Rosenstein is behind the camera. And I would love for her to come on because I can go on and on about many things. But her and I were talking this morning about creative challenges, and if there's one thing that I want to do with this podcast is I want to be very useful. I want to be useful to the people that are listening. I want it to make you laugh, of course, but I also, you know, I'm an artist. I think bottom line is before before comedian, before uh, perf- performery, before vi- I'm just an artist, like, and so. I want to be helpful to other creative people and, you know, talk about, even if it's not in creativity and you're somebody who's like, I have no creative bone in my body, like, <laughs> yes, but you're st- we're all human and we're doing this thing and it can be really challenging and no matter what you are driving your purpose towards or tr- finding out what your purpose is, I think that's what's so cool about you now even making this space more intimate and bringing it to this format is that I know for myself I go through tons on a daily basis of really challenging things and if it's not outside things it's inside things it's my brain it's my you know uh, spirit it's my those things that we kind of come up against all the time and right now I will say the climate at least in Los Angeles is very It's an interesting vibe that's going on right now, especially in the creative life. And it can be really challenging because things are very slow and you can feel it. You can feel it in restaurants. You can feel it when you go to any store. You can feel it in people's employment attitude. You can, it's just slow and it is very terrifying because nobody is generating money or creative angst creative energy so it's it's almost like this kind of gridlock there seems to be can speak from my own experience a lot of no's right now and when you've been doing it a long time you know it's really those no's get louder and harder to digest (laughs) and you just have to dig in deeper and once again find out the true propulsion the true meaning of why you're doing this like what is do you want to do it because you want to help people do you want to do it or because it helps you helps me like I think that's where I'm at like I'm still in our living room at this little our kitchen table with myself and Jen Rosenstein and my our cat and dog because we I want to do this I want I really want to provide you know just a creative cool conversation 
with the people listening and watching of like, what the fuck are we doing? <laughs> not, not in an existential crisis, but like, what, what the fuck are we doing so that we can find some, you know, some joy, some lightness, some something other than the day to day grind and the constant knows that a lot of time this world most of the time will present so that, you know, we can find that little creative fire in all of us. Like no matter what that is, it could be, it doesn't have to be necessarily like visual arts or performance arts or it just be, like, I don't care if it's planting. I don't care if it's brick lane. I don't care if it's with your kids. I don't like whatever, you know, singing, dancing, eating. I don't give a fuck. Like just something that is exciting you and igniting that part of you that's excited to and be to be curious about living. <laughs> about the, we are here, you know. And it, so that's that's all. I would love to invite Jen Rosenstein, and I hope that wasn't too long of a a, a monologue, but. You know, I don't know. I just, and, and and with that being said, with the podcast, I am going to open it up to emails and to, you know, get a call on. Like, I really have, a, the, the my mission has never changed, is to connect with people and to, like, that's the biggest thing. I just want to connect and I just want to have an ongoing relationship with the people who are part of this podcast. <laughs> I really do. And I don't care if it's two people. I, great. Like, if two people are listening to this or if 200 people are listening, it that doesn't matter. What matters is that there is just a needle in the record groove is moving towards something. And I don't, you know, want to stay st- stagnant. And, um, and I want to... The end of the day, the answer is love. And I feel like I'm going on and on. Waiting for... We can always cut this piece out. I am keeping it real. So we have Jen Rosenstein back on the cameras. And she's been... We have a little... She's been working very hard. Um, so anyway, this is just our first episode. Hi, Jen. We can cut all that out, too. It's fine. It's great. Hi. Hi, Jen Rosenstein. Oh, hi. Well, I just appeared. It's like magic. (laughs) You don't have your headphones on. I don't need, well, they're way over there, and it's plugged in over there, and I'm over here, and it's a woman. One lady show. Okay, so this is our, it's our first thing, right? And so, you know, it's, there is no one else in the room besides Do you want to see if my head's cut off in the camera? Okay. Which is probably right. Okay. Hey, Sarah Rose. Hey, Jen Lynn. <laughs> Jen Lynn. Jen Lynn. Jen Lynn. <clears throat> Talk to me. I loved what you had to say. It's just an interesting day to day like besides just the just the creating content creating art creating that is usually for artists is <laughs> difficult enough mm-hmm. but then the things that I'm I'm not great at which I'm getting better at by the way because I've been pushed to a point that it's so ridiculous that there's nowhere else for me to go like I can't be nicey nice like there's nowhere else for me to go you've seen my emails like they're very I would say cold to the point and there's no fluff. Well, I I also think that you're such a nice person and you've given so much fluff that sometimes people don't like respect it. They don't respect it. And Uh, I'm the fucking I'm the harsh one. mm hmm. I'm like, just fucking say this. And you're like, Jen. And I'm like, well, because the truth is like. So yes, people say niceness wins or whatever, but also like being fucking firm, and you have been more firm. They but don't say they say the nice guys finish last. They don't say nice wins. Well, in this, they say no, 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 you no. catch more flies with honey. That's what they say. That's as far as we get. As but far in this as being business, nice nice. people yeah. love women that are like hee, 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 hee. like the dudes love that shit. But once when the fucking women are like, "Yo, bro, 
listen up, you're a piece of shit, give me back my stuff, or hey, yo, uh, that's my money I earn on my podcast at the fucking studio that you guys have been withholding from me, you gotta pay me, which by the way are pennies compared to what that Not place likes, yeah. and it's like you're like hunting these motherfuckers down, it's not cool, that's fucking not cool. I know they can't even see the whole goddamn banner because I'm failing you on the production side, but I'm doing my best. We're working on it. We're gonna get a smoke machine, some parrots. parrots. We're gonna get a, a an igloo. Um, I might even be cut off right now. I don't know. My head might be cut off. I think I did pretty good on framing you. Look how beautiful that sunset is. Yeah, we have a beautiful sunset that I wish you guys could see. Maybe the next time we'll swing it around so everybody can see this. Yes. So okay, you guys. So I'm just we're winging it. All right. We're winging it. We're winging it, but yet also we're not. And also, like, just because we're, it's not our living room. This is the Not Cool Podcast Production Studios, which we will have amazing friends coming in as guests. Yep. We have some amazing artists coming in, some Mm -hmm. friends of ours, some musicians Mm -hmm. that are about to go on tour, that want to swing in, who have been on tour, that will come in. Um other comic friends that said they'll come like we have this podcast is going on and it's going to be even more successful than it was in a goddamn basement you know why why because we have windows and we have a view (laughs) of this beautiful sunset of griffith park observatory look how beautiful the orange that sunset is it's gorgeous it's fucking beyond gorgeous and you know what we don't have fucking dudes telling us how to be on this podcast. I want to start. I want to play a Lilith Fair song right now. Do it. I'm closer. Uh, yeah. I'm closer. I am the fire. Yeah. Is that right? Did you just get. Jen just brought an acoustic guitar and Birkenstocks and hummus. Um, <laughs> that's the benefit she just took off into her room where she got her guitar. Okay. Give me a song really out of tune and I only know and one isn't note. it ironic don't you think it's like rain on your wedding day it's a free ride when you already lived it's a good advice when you just didn't day and who would have thought you get and isn't it ironic okay girl um so that was good i think we all just started our period which i'm really excited about um and next up next week we're gonna march we're just gonna march and and um and i'm gonna wear bloody tampons as earrings and then make a complete outfit out of menstrual pads so it's gonna be fun and then um, we're going to play bongos and put um, period blood on our face as war paint. That's what we did last night, babe. So I'm really excited about our <laughs> new. <laughs> but in all honesty, though, like, oh. I really, I know, I know, I know, you're the, I know. But we did have this really great talk today. And I really believe that, like, you're an artist. I'm an Anyways. No, but it's true, though. Like, people respect you and people respect what you're doing. And they love this podcast, you know. This will be the 34th episode, um, and yeah, I just think just keep going. Just fucking keep going, and it's going to be challenging. This might not look as amazing as <laughs> some amazing, like, I was going to name some people that have podcasts in their, in their people houses. People know. People are podcast that watchers. They know Their face is all super lit. They look and great. It's amazing. I'm it like, so is good. that CGI happening while it's Can live taping? Can somebody AI my face? I'm sure we could, you know. But this is what it is. We're using my photo lights uh, to do this. I have my cameras up that I shoot my jobs with um, filming this. I went to Sam Ash this weekend. I got some mics where I'm using my Zoom to record it all in. Like, it just is. This is us. But, you know, it's also kind of cool. What's up? A couple of years ago, you you really wanted to do a podcast. Mm-hmm. And we are trying to figure out how to do it at home. True. 
and full circle in a way. Here yeah. we are. Here we are. It doesn't mean it's always going to be here. This is just for now, and let's see how it goes. And and I'll s- go ahead, baby. But can I just say? But that is the creative process, mm-hmm. you guys. Like, look, I have no idea where this. It may go nowhere. It might go somewhere. It's a. <laughs> It's a gamble. I don't know. I can't see into the future. But you know what has never changed is my simple job is to show up and try and do my best. And for today, like, this is my best. And that's all part of it but that's also part of the fun it's a ride like i don't know what the result is of the world either i have no clue what's gonna happen but i'm just doing my little job here in my little corner and i'm hoping that this will bring you some sort of joy some sort of entertainment some sort of helpfulness some sort of relation and you know and like i said this is just i i really want to start integrating you guys into the podcast because i think that's i'm so interested in what you guys have to say what you think like what are your challenges what are your struggles like or what are your wins (laughs) i need to know i need to know Mm -hmm. because i think that's all i'm about here is i just want to be connected with you guys i've already said this and i'm glad that jen's here jen is probably the more grounding of us too, um, which is good. And so she's constantly trying to get me to be more, quote unquote, air quotes, real. Um, you said air quotes because we heard somebody say air quotes the other day. But it's a real thing, air quotes. I've never heard, but that that was the first time I ever heard somebody say air quotes. Your air quotes. So, so look, man. Oh, here she goes. This is when Kentucky comes in. <laughs> no, no. By the way, every male figure in Sarah's family, when it's like really, the, the really setting up to say something, how does it start with? What? Is, what? Hey, man. <laughs> man. Hey, man. They usually do this. like their hair. Look, man, we're all the same. My dad fucks with his hair. I mess with my hair. My brother messes with it. It's just something that we do, and we lay the foundation so the audience, our listening uh, listeners, know what's coming. So it's all this. Yeah. (laughs) Everybody in your family has their own audience. (laughs) It's not true, man. Hey, man. (laughs) Give me that spaghetti sauce. Hey, man, I they, want a grande tea. They don't sound like that, first off. Well, I love how when people say. impersonate myself or my family. It is over the top. Everybody does this. Yes. Well, luckiest. Real big that's luckiest. That's how you imitate your family. No, I, well, because they're mine. They're fucking mine. I can do that. And so that when I'm like, hey, yeah, they're like this. You're like, no, you can't do that. No, no, bro. no, no. Listen, when the you, girl, the- when you. When this is how this fighting goes, I never get to say a word and she mimics everything I do, which as every couple knows, there's a Sarah and there's a Jen. It's fucking annoying and you guys know it, so and knock I it off. I always lose. So all I'm saying is that you impersonate your mother or your sister. Do my mom. No, Please you do, do your my- mom. Yeah. No, do it. Yeah, buddy. <laughs> yeah. yeah, buddy. It's that- an e ticket, baby. <laughs> Give me an e ticket, baby. <laughs> it's so good it makes me laugh so hard but that's all i'm saying when i you can do that because it's your mother sherry mccormick and i can do mine because they're mine and they are very concentrated they are louisville kentucky what am i supposed to do that there's a twang that goes along with that and my dad is you know he's like well <coughs> okay <coughs> If that's what you want to do, I mean, it's ladies and gentlemen, let's welcome to the podcast Tim Highland. No, no, dude, come on, come on, come God on. damn it, Jen! Wait, 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 wait. Welcome to the podcast, Tim Highland. Can we not be make it? Welcome Tim? to the podcast, Kentucky. Tim Highland. No, say Kentucky. Welcome to the podcast, Kentucky Lightning. I don't Lightning. like when you get bossy. Welcome to the podcast, Kentucky Lightning. No, can you? Come on, man. Welcome to the podcast, Kentucky Lightning. Uh, well, wow, it is really, really, really nice to be here. Thank you for having me. This is awesome. I can't believe we finally have you here, Kale. Yeah, anybody's lucky to have me. <laughs> hey. I'm, like, shocked you made your flight. 
Yeah, well, no, I took a mule to the airport, which is interesting. Uh, and then I, I hooked, kind of, I just brought a carry-on. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because I brought my moose, I brought a pick, and then I brought one cut-off tee, which you obviously get where that's coming from, and I brought a pair of flip-flops because I am coming to California. So. Did you bring anything else? Uh, I brought a condom just in case. It's called a dental dam for the ladies. So, but that it's like a uh, it's that's like a wet nap that just folds right up and you can put it in your billfold and just put that in your back pocket. So that doesn't need to be packed and adds no extra weight. So that's good. I never leave home without, but I clean it with oxyclate pads for your face with sea breeze. And then I brought my Aussie moose. For what? For my hair. You have Aussie moose? Yep. KL? Yep. Smells good as purple. I didn't know you could afford that. It's high end shit. Wow. It was a gift. <laughs> it was a gift. Big lo- you went to Big Lots. It it's was okay. a gift okay. that was for a holiday that uh, is only uh, celebrated once a year. Rosh Hashanah. <laughs> Uh, no, but I think I slept with her. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah. yeah, she was good. I think she was blonde. Um, everywhere. <laughs> wow. wow. Thank you, KL, for coming to Not Cool. Thanks for letting me come on your face. In time. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Open 24 hours a day, huh? Yes. Woo! the kind of store I'd like to get into. Like 7-Eleven. <laughs> yeah, wow. I'll take you 7-Eleven or 69er. <laughs> Sorry if my numbers are off. I am not a mathematician. <laughs> so, but you get the idea. I get it. I get it. I get it. Okay, great. I've never seen you so flustered. Am I flustered? You're a little flustered, <laughs> which is easy to do around someone of my stamina. <laughs> An aggressive... Uh, being of uh 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 uh, uh conversing <laughs> i like the way you talk <laughs> it's like you, you like like a banjo just sitting across from a... <laughs> okay wow i think it's time that we shut that mouth and open them legs <laughs> <laughs> so the f- cool thing is, Why? right? Like, oh, Sarah has all these oh. little people inside her head. And it, oh no, no, no! We can keep oh. going. No, go ahead. No, no, I like it. I like it. No, do it. No, keep going. It was getting disgusting. It, I mean, we, we don't just have, have to be. We don't have HR, and we have to be careful of the viewer, listeners. Oh yeah, What's I'm not song? a parent. Yeah, hey, love is for children. Are you thinking of White Lion? How does it go? When the children cry, then no one done. Cause when the children sing, I know them. In. No, I that's know definitely not the words, song. But that it song was like, is dope. Love of the children. I don't know that song. The day we moved in. Love. Oh, that's gonna be loud. Okay. Love is for children. Is it love is for children? I don't know, bro. I don't know what love is for children. This is not love. I don't think I like it, though. I feel like I ruined your podcast episode. No, you didn't. Okay. Why would you say that? I don't know. Listen. No one's ruining anything. This is a canvas where anybody is welcome to come up and slather their paint however the fuck they want they can use a marker you can use blood you can use chip dip you can use i love chip fucking dip. rubber bands you i don't give a fuck come and do whatever you want because you cannot mess it up i love it that's what's up you can't there's no messing any there's no right or wrong on how to do this how about fucking that you go outside the lines go outside the lines can I say that? There's the last thing I'll say because we do have, we to, have go. to wrap it up. It's a short episode this week. But that's, you know what? I knew, I knew in 
preschool. We were we they gave us a coloring book and there was a hippo that we had to color and I I noticed And that's when you knew you would marry me. No, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Got to get in that fucking hippo joke. <laughs> And you did. Anyway, I just, I noticed that the, 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 there were girls that knew and they were. In the fashion of being a first time producer of us doing this, mm. um, the camera shut off. So. So we're going to wrap it up. Um, we just want to say thank you so much for sticking with us. We're going to continue to uh, open up conversations with you guys via email, call in, live call ins. Because we want to, I I really want to include you guys in because that's why I do this. And um, and Jen Rosenstein, thank you for joining me. Uh, thank you for having me. If you don't know Jen, check out her Instagram, Jen Rosenstein. And you check out all of her photography, her directorial ships. She's a black belt in karate. Okay, okay. She has badass tattoos. All right, She's kind of right. cool. Okay, okay. Uh, check her out. And... Um, Thank you guys, and yeah. c- come back next week. We'll have le- we'll have guests, and maybe new things on the table, and new things in the background. Maybe we'll have different color lights. Maybe we'll have a fish tank and a pigeon. You don't. You gotta come back, and a cacti. That's plural for cactuses, so that means multiples on the tabletop. Just and keep coming back if you if you work. And a it, ferret. It works, and and yeah, and a, so it'll get better and better, and, and hopefully um, cameras won't shut off next time. But that's part of the hiccups of us doing this. You're a so, hiccup. Yeah. All right. I love you guys. Stick through the hiccups because they do stop if you just hold your breath. And, and not everything is always perfect. Even when, when it looks perfect, other people's work, you think it's perfect. They have the same hiccups as we do. We just have no worries of uh, showing them to you. And everybody has mental illness of some sort. Everyone is <laughs> mentally ill. Just a little bit. Most likely a lot. Almost. It's okay. Everyone is. It's and called we, human beings. Yeah, we're all little, you know, and little uh, mental illness. So. All right. Love you guys. I'll see you guys next week. Thanks for listening and watching our first little baby episode. All right. Bye, girl. Hey, everybody. You want more Not Cool? Then go to Instagram and subscribe to Not Cool Pod and or on my own personal page, which is Sarah Highland Rosenstein. And please don't forget to rate and review and, of course, subscribe. Thanks for listening and watching, you guys. Stay not cool.